Hey there, my name is Alex and welcome to this Adobe XD tutorial. I am the products creator and so far I have created more than 500 design products. I'm also a course creator and so far I have created more than 30 different products. You can access all of my courses and digital design products in my membership alongside all the practice files for the YouTube videos, including this one, which we are going to work on in this tutorial. So if you're interested, the link is going to be down in the description below. I also have a YouTube channel and you can check it out if you're interested in more Adobe XD and UI UX design content. Without any further ado, let's jump inside today's video. In this video, we are going to design a furniture store website. And if I show you how that looks like, this is the design we are going to create. And we have a nice little hover where add to car button is. And we also have this effect with the heart. So let's get started. So here is the practice file for this design and you can get this practice file if you join my membership. Once again, link is going to be down in the description below. And this practice file, as you can see, includes all of the colors we are going to be using, character styles, components, and that sort of thing. So to get started, what I'm going to do is actually drag and drop my logo. So let me find it right here. Here it is. And let's see, perhaps I can position it to be, let's see, 60 from the top. But before I do all of that, let me create my navigation. So I'm going to use the T and I'm going to type in chairs like this and I'm going to put it in a group. I'm going to call that group nav like this. I'm going to include a stack and for the stack I'm going to use 60 because we have 12 different columns and gutter width is 60 so 60 is going to be just fine. If I hide myself you can see what I'm talking about. So 60 for the gutter width. And what I'm going to do next is put this in a group. As I said, this is like this. So I'm going to hit Control D and now select it to be 60, like so. So what I need right here is six different items. So I'm going to do this. So two, three, four, five, six. So this first one is going to be chairs. This is going to be couches. Road robes. It's going to be a lamps, decoration, and finally contact us. And let's see for the color what we can use is ABABAB. -B -B. So I'm going to select all of them like this. And let's see, I'm going to use uh, this normal gray, for example. And let's see for the style, what I can use is, let's see. Boro 24, but in this normal gray, I think it's going to work just fine. And let's see for the position, perhaps we can position it right here, make sure both of them are like so. And finally, what I need to do is to include these icons. So the cart icon, and finally the search icon. Let's see the cart icon is going to be aligned all the way to here and the search icon is going to be right around here. And let's see between these two, what I can do is perhaps put a distance of 60 because that's what we created with all of these. Even better, what I can do is include these two like so. Make sure they are 60 and basically just nudge these two up to here and we are going to have 60 and this is up to here. So everything is inside of one nav. Finally, as I said, uh, maybe do this and perhaps I can even do this like so. And then these two like this and make sure I am 50. So 50 and 60 right there. Hit control G. I'm going to call on this nav once again, or I can call it navigation or however else you want. Next, I'm going to uh, include my divider. So I'm going to simply position it like this, call it divider. And let's see for that divider, what I can do is select a lighter color. So I'm going to select this light gray, for example, to see how that looks like. I'm going to quickly jump into my preview mode. I think it works just fine. And next I'm going to position these partners. So I'm going to select and drop them all like this. Go back to my um, layers panel and let's see position number five right here number one right here. Let's see where is number four. It's there. This is number three. This is number two. 
So I'm going to make sure they are positioned like this. This is to the left, this is like so. Select them all and click right here to distribute them evenly across your uh, canvas. And finally, I'm going to nudge this divider down until it meets like this. So shift one, two, three, four, five, six, let's say, or even better, 40. And I'm going to also nudge them down like this. I'm going to make sure they are in a group, call it partners position that group down below and I'm going to nudge it one, two, three, four. Make sure they are 40 from the bottom because I just want to have a bit more space later when I start uh, including my design scene. You can see it works just fine and these can be just the partners uh, that this store is working with. Now let's start with the circles and with product images. So I'm going to position this circle right here and let's see um, what we can do with this one is let's say 583 or 538 with 538. I think it works just fine. And what I'm going to do is use my rectangle, locate the bottom uh, section of this navigation, select and drag it like so, and then select it and my circle and make sure that my circle is in the center. That way I know that this is the center point of my artboard between my partners at the bottom and navigation at the top. I'm going to then remove this rectangle and I'm going to call this, let's see, product circle. And I'm going to hit control a D and duplicate that. Make sure it's a little bit smaller, perhaps somewhere right here. And I'm going to call it BG circle like so. And then I'm going to move them just below my navigation and I'm going to locate my chair number one. Here it is. And I'm using all of my images from Envato Elements. If you want to access all of these images, then link is going to be down in the description below. So you can do so if you want to. I'm going to select this circle and place it where the leg of the chair is somewhere around here, for example, something like this. Make sure that the chair is nicely positioned somewhere around here. I think that works fine. And make sure the chair is here. I'm going to call on these chair one, chair one, like so. And finally, let's adjust and include some colors. So for this a big circle, I'm going to use my accent color. And for this smaller circle, let's see, I have to switch back to here and I'm going to uh, remove my border. And let's see for this one, I'm going to use this dark gray and I'm going to lower down the fill to 5% something like this. So it's nice and light and it doesn't distract too much. So I think it works just fine. I'm going to hit control C to copy it because I'm going to use it. Uh, let's see in few more places. So control V and I'm going to make sure it's somewhere around here and it's nice and big position it roughly around here so that it covers my logo nicely. And if I hit the preview really quickly, you can see what I mean and you can always animate these circles if you want to achieve a result like that. So to include a bit of interest uh, to your visuals, hit control D one more time, one more time, because I'm going to need these two circles for my um, other chairs. But actually, I'm going to remove them and I'm going to use this one. Control C, control V because they are just the right size. So control D position it roughly around here. We can even go right here outside when we create these other chairs. Now to get started, I'm going to simply move these circles right below all of our items like so. And we need to include text right here. So to get started with our text, what I'm going to do first is locate my star, drag and drop it into here. Let's see and position it roughly around here. I'm going to use repeat grid and I'm going to create five of them. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to cut this off. You can go with four star review, for example, or three star review or whatever else. And I'm going to reduce this down to maybe 10, nine, something like that, because I think that 20 was just too much. I'm going to call this a rating. You can ungroup this, of course, if you want to simply click right here, but I'm going to keep it as it is. And I'm going to place it right around here just below my chair. Then what I'm going to do is use some text. So 500, uh, 5,426 reviews. 
like that and for this text I'm going to use the smallest one I have so 18 Roboto which is a free font obviously make sure we are at 40 because we were at 40 everywhere like that and let's see uh, now we need a name for this chair so I'm going to call it let's see on corner minus three which is a made up name obviously but that doesn't matter I'm going to use the biggest one to have which is this one make sure to place it right here and let's see we can go shift one two three four to be 40 from this text obviously cannot be pixel perfect because these stars are not pixel perfect but you can always play around and adjust the stars if you want to but i think it's fine for this particular example i'm going to hit ctrl d to duplicate it and let's see what i can do is i can use a smaller font for this one so perhaps in this one i think it works just fine and let's see uh, that ABAB color which we were using, which I think it's this one. Yes, it is. And let me quickly select uh, the text from my original design to paste it in. And let's see for this one, we can also go with 40. As you can see now it's showing us 41, but so if you're not pixel perfect, then these things are going to happen. So shift one, two, three, four. Just make sure where you're finding your icons. Actually, I created this star myself, so <laughs> that's why it's like this. But when you're finding your icons, make sure that they are actually pixel perfect. I'm going to uh, move this or right below like this, just to round my text uh, a little bit nicer. Then hit Control D, make sure I am, for example, let's say, let's see what we can do 40 or 60 maybe 40 this is going to be price so two four five like this and let's see uh this can be 48 bold like this make sure we are uh 40 like this and finally what we need is that icon so here i have my favorite icon i'm going to position it right here what I actually did is created the default state and clicked state so inside of a default state if I zoom in just a little bit closer you can see we have the outline of the icon inside of the clicked state I just have the icon filled in with this background just behind it I have on my channel many different tutorials about how to do this sort of thing so if you're interested the link is going to be down in the description below make sure to check it out and make sure to search for all of these icon tutorial design in Adobe XD because as I said I have many of them so what we need there is to be at 60 for example because I think 40 is just not uh, far enough so at 60 and what I'm going to do right here is to create a nice button so what I can do is make sure to create a button which is two columns wide make sure that's high uh, and just the same as this so 70 and I'm going to type in add to cart and let's see for that one perhaps I can use this regular one just make sure it's right here select both of these like so and I'm going to call this btn bg group these call it btn like so and let's quickly organize this so what i'm going to use is i'm going to select all of it hit ctrl and g and i'm going to call it content for example like so i'm going to put it just below my chair number one as i said and now organize things uh, in order of appearance so let's unlock this like so so button and favorite are going to go all the way down a rating is going to go up just above this one above this one and above this one and that's basically it so for this button what i'm going to do is actually select this lighter gray color which i have right here as well so i'm going to jump inside of here locate my lighter gray color which is this one make sure i remove the border and for the text what i'm going to do is actually keep it so it resembles this heart inside so what we can do uh, right now is I'm going to create that hover effect. So hit control K to create a component. And now let me actually go right here to remove my original button, delete. So I don't have two of them. So I'm going to click right here to create a hover state like so. And for the hover, basically what I want to do is just change uh, to correspond with this. So if we switch back, you can see it's white and this um, orange color. So I'm going to do the same for this. So inside of the hover, I'm going to change my button BG to this color and I'm going to change the text color to plain white. 
you can see the advantage of having all of these assets saved already so if you're interested once again practice file in the description so let's test it out and see how it works fine click works fine and that's basically it now let's play around with all of these elements and just reposition this a little bit better so we have this content we're going to do the same thing so i'm going to use my rectangle like this and make sure to select both of these hit right here make sure this is in the center and now as you can see it works much nicer so what i'm going to do next basically is just uh, copy these two texts so i'm going to use this and this Control c paste them outside like this to have them right here and they are going to occupy these two so let me copy the name of this uh, second chair this is going to, be, going to be 237 for example and i'm going to make sure it's at 40 but before i do what i want to do is perhaps select this so let's see 24 bold i think that's fine yes so just make sure it's at 40 shift one two three four right so and what I'm going to do is simply drag and drop my chair number two, which is this one. Make sure to position it uh, roughly around here and make sure, let's see, one, two, three, four. And perhaps I can create this to be 20, like so. So from here to here, it's 20. From here to here, it's 40. And let's position this shape roughly around here, for example. So this can be our chair number two like this chair two and finally what i need is copy of it obviously so control a d and i'm going to move it down below this is going to be chair three and i'm going to uh, remove uh, this one but before i do i want to drag and drop my chair three inside and just make sure that i placed everything correctly like so and like so then click this one remove it and there we go and now for this one i just have to change this name and finally right here 846 because this is executive chair and it's going to be much more expensive obviously finally what i can do is position this to be roughly around here and i can even move these circles uh, inside of each folder so right here and the chair number two is going to have this circle so I'll move it along right here now finally what i can do is organize them just a little bit better so this content is 60 from here so let's see because i line it up uh, with the chair in mind not with the circle so shift two three four five six like this and that's basically it all we need to do is now align this with the top so there we go I can even move the circle outside just for the alignment purposes so i can line it up to the center like so and then bring the circle back inside and simply position it roughly around here and there we go that's our website design for the shop website for the furniture shop and if we hit once again you can hover you can click right here and you have all of these elements obviously uh, if you want, you can further enhance this animation. So you have these circles, for example, you can use time triggers in Adobe XD and you can make those circles float around the space if that's something that you want. So you can bring a bit more visual interest to these circles. You can squeeze this circle so it can go bigger and smaller, bigger and smaller, kind of a pulsing effect. Then for this smaller circle, you can make it circle around this chair, for example. This can go from here to down here. This can circle your chair. This can circle in other direction. And perhaps you can even include some additional circles in the back to make this even uh, more interesting than it already is. Thank you for watching today's video, I really hope you found some value in it. If you want more content like that, make sure to check out my YouTube channel, link is going to be down in the description below. And remember, if you want to access that project file alongside all the courses, digital design products, more project files, private access to the Facebook group and so much more, make sure to check out my membership, link is going to be down in the description below. Thank you once again for watching and I really hope to see you in the next one. Take care.